Hello, a very warm welcome to NHK Newsline. It's 9 a.m. on Tuesday, Thursday in Tokyo. I'm Miki Yamamoto. We begin in Florida, where police say 17 people are dead following a shooting at a high school on Wednesday. Police say they have a suspected gunman in custody, a 19-year-old former student. Now to South Africa, where President Jacob Zuma has resigned. He was facing mounting pressure to step down from his governing African National Congress Party, as well as the opposition. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says when it comes to talks with North Korea, he and the U.S. President are on the same page, that Pyongyang's denuclearization must be at the heart of any potential dialogue. Now moving on to business and markets, the Japanese government has just released data on corporate investment. Rami Melagard has the detail from the business desk, so break down the numbers for us, Rami. Quite a lot of data to uh, go through, Mickey. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte is placing a ban on workers from the country being dispatched to Kuwait. Last week, the body of 29-year-old domestic worker Joanna Demafalis was found in a freezer inside an apartment in Kuwait. Now to the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. It was a historic finish for a pair of Japanese speed skaters, but it came with some disappointment. And it was a deja vu for Japan's Akito Watabe in the Nordic Combined Skiing Event. He took the silver medal, just as he did four years ago in Sochi. And once again, it was Germany's Eric Frenzel that beat him. Next, we head to the halfpipe where American snowboarding legend Sean White won gold, repeating a feat he first managed 12 years ago. But it meant heartbreak for Japan's teenage sensation Ayumu Hirano. Thailand is one of many countries struggling with an aging society, and it's looking for ways to promote healthy living among senior citizens. Now, as you will see in our next report, Japanese specialists are trying to help by encouraging the elderly to be a little more active. We want to recap our top story for you. Police in Florida say 17 people are dead following a shooting at a high school on Wednesday. They have a suspected gunman in custody, a 19-year-old former student. That's all for this edition of NHK Newsline. I'm Miki Yamamoto in Tokyo. Thank you for staying with us on NHK World.